For $17, this torch, which it actually does have an aluminum body, is just an amazing deal. It works fantastic. It's handy for little small projects. Not sure if the gas would actually last for 30 minutes as it shows in the picture, but that's what they say. What this note on the bottom? That was another tricky part about filling them up because the hole is bigger than a standard cigarette lighter. Here's a can of common butane. Look for one with a cap like this, and on the top of the cap you'll have these little holes to snap out different tip sizes. I found 3.76 millimeter is what the tip measured, and that seemed to fit in the best. And this way you get a nice tight fit when you're putting the gas in. Here you can see the measurement. So some of the cans, like I showed you in the picture, have those adapters that are a little bit wider. So I did, was able to put gas in it, but uh, it leaks around the side. So if you don't have that adapter, it doesn't, it's not as easy to put gas in it. One hand operation. Turn it on, let go, goes off. If you turn it to the right, it locks the button so it won't go off in your bag. Turn it to the left, all one hand, light it, roll this knob a little like that, and it's locked. Here's Max. I guess that is the lowest setting, so it, it can go down that low. All right, different positions, upside down, see that? No problems, no weird behavior. Well, a little bit of spinning, right? But just really, really stable. When you're done with the torch, and you're gonna transport it, this is what you should do. Put this all the way down, discharge any gas in the line. This prevents it starting accidentally, lock it, and now it's ready to be put in your bag. This plastic regulator had sprung a leak. The water is at 110 PSI, but I was still able to melt and cover over the leaking areas and seal it back up. I think this torch could be great for plastic welding and soldering larger wires and just a bunch of little handy things where you need a little bit of heat.